What's up, Model Squad? MOB back with another Division 2 video. Before we get into today's video, I want to announce that I have finally enabled my join button. This means for those of you who want to support the channel that little bit more, you can join and become members. You will have the access to badges and perks others don't. Becoming a member is another great way to support the channel and it's going to help me improve on the channel's quality. If you guys are interested in being a member, then click the join button down below to check out the available perks. I believe the first tier is only $1. Thank you to those of you who choose to join. With that said, welcome to another Division 2 build breakdown video. In today's video, I bring a speedrun assault rifle build that's amazing for solo, heroic and legendary content. If you guys remember a couple videos back, I posted my SMG speedrun build. Well, it turns out I wasn't the only one using this build for speedruns. A few of you pointed me in the direction of another content creator using the same build. His channel name is Kantian336. I'm hoping I didn't butcher his name. His channel link will be in the description below. Trust me, you guys definitely want to head over and check him out. This guy was using the same SMG build and was getting times of 5 minutes and less on Lincoln Memorial. So in today's video, I bring you a build not of my own, but from Kantian, as I feel this guy needs a bit more recognition for what he does. And also, I really think this build can help a lot of you guys out when it comes to your legendary content. I myself haven't completed a solo legendary yet, but with this build, I've got very, very close. If you guys want to see a full legendary speedrun, then make sure you check out Kantian's channel. Again, the link will be down in the description below. This build is also great for speedrunning heroic, like I said earlier, and it makes you feel super easy. Today's build is very similar to the SMG build we were using, but with a few changes. What remains the same is we're still using the four pieces of Negotiator's Dilemma. We are also using the Striker Drone because that is way too good at a job that it does, and we are still using the Gunner Specialization. The changes made to the build are the chest, bag, one of our skills and our primary weapon. In this build we'll be using two pieces of provenance, the reason for this is so we gain 10% crit chance. We need this crit chance because assault rifles don't come with crit chance as a core attribute like SMGs do, so the provenance pieces make up for that. This AR build is currently at 53% crit chance and 170% plus crit damage, which is very similar to our SMG version. When it comes to the change in skills, we are now using the shield instead of the banshee pulse. The reason for this is we'll be using the talent vigilance. Vigilance and the shield seem to go hand in hand together because majority of the time the shield takes the hits from the NPCs, ensuring that you keep your vigilance buff. Now that I spoke a little bit about the build and its origin, let's get into a quick piece by piece breakdown before I leave you guys with some gameplay. Before we get into this build breakdown, don't forget to smash that like button as it helps support the channel and helps us grow. If you're new around here, hit that sub button, join the mob squad for lots more Division 2 content. And with that said, let's get into the build starting off with our primary weapon. So our primary weapon is the FAMAS, we're sitting at 95.2k base damage, 900 RPM with 50 in the magazine, I rolled for damage to targets out of cover, and the talent we are using is killing an enemy with critical hits grant 40% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. Looking at the attachments, we have our scope which is the C79 scope, gives us 5% crit chance, it's a great scope because it allows us to zoom in to get those you know, far away shots. You could also do these corner peaks, kind of like wall glitches where you can shoot them but they can't shoot you, so it really does come in handy. If you're on PC, I recommend using this scope, which is what Kantian was using, gives you the plus 30% headshot damage, very nice with this build, I believe you get 100% headshot damage in total with your AR. If you look at the laser pointer, we have 5% crit chance, the muzzle gives us 5% crit chance, and then the magazine gives us the extra 20 rounds. Moving on to the secondary, which is the police M4. This is what Kantian was using as his main weapon. He was also running an SMG, but I went for two assault rifles instead. So we have killer on here as well. This talent is just too good not to use. The amount of damage it gives you and the fact that you can just keep chaining it, it's just great to have. So looking at the attachments on the M4, we have crit chance on the scope. Crit chance on the laser, crit chance on the muzzle, and again, the extra 20 rounds for the magazine. So now we have covered the main weapons, I'll talk about the sidearm quick. Just choosing the Liberty because it does a lot of damage, as you can see, 478.3k damage. So if you're really desperate, we do have the shield, you can use this pistol with the shield. It also replenishes the shield. Liberty or death hits grant plus 2% weapon damage. Stacks up to 30 times, headshots consume all stacks, repairing your shield for 3% per stack. So if you get real desperate, you can pull this out. Now we have covered the weapons, we're going to get into the gear pieces. Starting off with our mask, which is our first piece of Negotiator's Dilemma. And we have weapon damage at 13.4%, 
we had 12% critical hit damage, 11.5% critical hit damage as a mod. And when it comes to all these pieces of negotiators, it's literally all weapon damage and maxed out crit damage. So I'm just going to skim through these real quick. If you guys want to see this in greater detail, feel free to pause the video. This is my lowest roll piece right here, so 9.3% weapon damage isn't the greatest. I'm going to keep farming and max that out. And then when it comes to the chest piece, we are using Provenance chest piece with Perfect Glass Cannon. So we get the amplified damage, the amplified by 30%. All damage you take is amplified by 60. We're going to be staying back with this build, not playing silly, not rushing. So we rarely take that damage. The shield takes majority of the damage. You're not going to put yourself in a position where you're going to get shredded because we are super squishy. Looking at the backpack and you can get the gift. I believe it's the gift and you get a higher amount of damage from the vigilance talent so we have 14.9% weapon damage 11.6% critical hit damage 7.5% weapon handling we are missing out on 6% crit chance there so we would be at the 60% cap and then I have a mod giving us 12% critical hit damage we'll go over the skills real quick the shield we're using I've just specced into a lot of shield health um, the damage bonus we don't actually get because we're not using the striker shield again shield health when it comes to the drone um, I went for duration 6.2% we have 9.2% health and then we have damage which it doesn't really do much because we have no skill tiers so now we have covered the skills I'm going to move on to the stat sheet and I'm not going to talk through it I'm going to skim through it real quick you guys can pause the video if you want to look at it in greater detail but this is definitely definitely a build worth using it's a lot of fun makes Heroic content, super, super easy. And if you guys are good enough, like this Cantian guy, you'll be able to solo legendary missions as well. Make sure you head over and check him out. Again, don't forget to smash that like button to support this channel. Subscribe if you're new for lots more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Mob Squad.
Local power offline. Circuit breaker detected. Medical assistance needed. safe levels. Filters failing.
Taking out the hyena leadership leaves the faction in disarray. I'll send teams to start securing the supplies and the equipment those bastards were hoarding. And I'll let Odessa know. The theater settlement will be able to rest a little easier now. <laughs>